Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to your hump day edition of Refresh with Jess. Today we're gonna to do a little Q&A and I have a question, a great question that just came through from Amy L. And I really wanna take some time and answer her question because I think it's something that a lot of people out there experience and often wonder about and maybe sometimes they get help, maybe sometimes they don't. But either way, I think it's a great question that I want to give some light to. So Amy L says, my husband had an affair. I'm not sure how long or with whom, but we have a three-year-old daughter and I want to save our marriage. Is it possible? That's a very loaded, but very, very important question. And I think the first thing to know is, are both of you committed to saving the marriage? If just one of you is committed, but the other is maybe teetering or uh, maybe not at all, um, then that definitely tips the scale in a different direction. So we always want to know, are we both committed? Are we both two feet in before we commit ourselves to doing the work to quote unquote, save a marriage? Now, that's not to say that counseling isn't a good idea either way, because sometimes counseling can help shake out the answer to that. It can sometimes help give light and direction to that question in terms of, you know, what direction we should go and how we're both feeling and can we rebuild trust and, you know, are there resentments there that need to be processed before we can even begin to think about saving our marriage. And so no matter what, counseling is probably a very good idea. But one thing you should know is that if the affair is still going on, then therapy really is pointless because there's obviously a dishonest behavior going on and the purpose of therapy is to rebuild foundation. So what I would say to you, Amy, and anybody else out there who's wondering this exact same thing about maybe not a marriage, but maybe just a long-term relationship or any other situation in which you've been betrayed um, or feel that you've lost trust in your partner, the most important thing to find out before anything is has the cheating stopped or the dishonest behavior stopped? Um, and if the answer is yes, then pick up a phone, call a therapist, get in to talk to somebody unbiased who can help you sort through, and then see what direction you go from there. But it's always helpful to have a third party come in and sort of help us flush out what we're feeling, what we're thinking, and allow us to be able to even begin to sort through the painful thoughts and feelings that take place when such a betrayal has happened. So thank you so much for your question. I think it's really, really, really um, brave of you and vulnerable of you to send a question like that. And I know there's so many other people out there who will also benefit from hearing that there's somebody out there who's going through the same thing that they are. So thank you very much and have a happy hump day.